Dan James, more effective than Ronaldo in the United setup. Mm -hmm. I felt like the two of you were talking about completely different things. I'm going to give you an opportunity to, to kind of say your piece around tactics, whether he fits, whether he's screwed up the system. Yeah. Tell me where your head is at 13 weeks into the Premier League season. I mean, I feel like for, for memory, what he said was, and again, it was over FaceTime, but Dan James, in a game against City, he's better than Ronaldo. So yes. you pick Dan James over Ronaldo. More effective. More effective. More effective. Yeah, yeah. And that was based on what? Three out of four games he said Oli yeah. won against yeah, yeah. Pep? Yeah. For me, that you can't go with football and say, oh, if you play the same lineup every time, you're going to yeah. beat the same... We, they got outclassed. Whether yep. it's yep. you're playing Dan James or you're playing whoever you want to play, Cavani up top, yeah, yeah. whoever. Yeah. I think they just got outclassed. Yep. Um, to be honest, yeah, look, I think yeah, his whole argument was Ronaldo doesn't press. We yep. know Ronaldo doesn't, doesn't press. Mm -hmm. Can you actually, can you guess the top three, yeah. oh, sorry, the least pressing forwards in the EPL? I mean, we, we pulled out that stat from the Athletic, that episode. I mean, Ronaldo is the least pressing. The least, least yep. pressing. And then... I don't know, I can't remember. Lukaku? Yep. And then Sam, Sam Maxima. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Can you tell me, would Tuka... Oh, well, before you keep going, are you, are you getting... You, you, like, remember, I'm not the enemy no, no, here. No, no, We're no, talking I'm about... Just, yeah, I'm just, just, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. So, okay, all right. So, all right. I'm just making I'm just sure. Gonna, it's very informal. I don't yeah, have, you know, yeah. very yeah. professional... Oh, story. here we go. Hey, I'm just yeah, doing yeah. it as it should be done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if Tuka was playing Lukaku... Yeah. And he's playing City, do you reckon he's going to go, I'm going to sub... Lukaku off because yep. he's not going to press okay. and I'm going to put someone else Okay, he's not Yeah, that's a great problem to have is to have to go oh, I've got these players how mm -hmm. can I utilise them to the best potential yeah um, oops Ooh. Hey, don't get nervous yeah, about that it's fine it's fine <laughs> yeah how can I utilise them to the best potential yeah and play <laughs> the, ch <laughs> the, the, sets, the sets are falling apart yeah, yeah without Josh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah but how can you play your best 11 mm. it comes down to the manager it doesn't mm. come if Zidane was there, for example, or yeah. if, if you had Ferguson, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's got the exact same squad that uh, Ole had. Yep. Would he play that starting line? Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you he wouldn't. Yep. Would he play the same tactics? It yeah. comes down to, you've got these cards, how mm -hmm. can you play these cards? Yeah. Yeah, whether you want to play start Ronaldo or start him off. Or, mm. Ronaldo is, is a goal scorer. He's a finisher. Yeah, you yeah. know that. Yeah, he's yeah. not going to press. Yeah. That's not his role. That's yeah. not his... So in Madrid, yeah. I've been following uh, Madrid, okay. Juve, yeah, yeah, yeah. been following him since then. He was yeah. never a presser. And yeah. correct, they get teams around him, essentially all the, the wingers to press, press down mm. opponents, whether it's you know, that Bruno Fernandes role doing the right, left. I don't agree he was pressing down all the players. Yeah. Like Josh was saying, oh, Bruno was exhausted. Yeah. I don't think that was it, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Just, just saying it. So yeah, as it is. I mean, um, and, and to your point, right? Like Sir Alex said after the Everton game, mm. um, when when United lost that, you know, and obviously Ronaldo started on the bench, mm -hmm. and he made the comment, "You always start your best players and stuff mm -hmm. like that." We got we got a, a DM mm -hmm. which I put up, mm -hmm. and um, predictably you you messaged me after. Yeah. And I want to read it to you real quick, just for the for the sake of the of people course. that haven't seen it, and get and get your thoughts, right? So we put that post up about Dan James and Cristiano. And this person messaged, honestly, it's Ronaldo's fault. They had a tactical plan before he arrived. And now that he's there, it throws out of balance. And he then goes on to say, it's reminiscent of what happened at Juve, but because it was Italy, not so much, you know, there was not that much press around it. Whereas now EPL United, obviously a big brand. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the system has changed since Ronaldo came? To be quite honest, I don't think United had insane tactics before Ronaldo joined. Yeah. Like with Sir Alex, there was a way of playing. Yeah. Now, is there a way of playing with Ole Hunter since he joined? Do you reckon there is a... I mean, look, there playing? was the, when we went through that period of like counter-attacking football, mm. there was like a good run of results that we knew and United finished second and third and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think there was that basic, right? Because obviously yeah. you can't compare Ole with Klopp and Tuchel yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But there was a way, which was that front three was fluid or pressing when it was Martial, Greenwood, Rashford. Yeah. And I think Jaden Sancho, I mean, now obviously you know, depending on what you read is sitting on the mm. bench or training as a wing back and stuff, I think was brought in to, to fill that fluid front three. Yeah. But obviously when you put Ronaldo in, and this is my thought, because you know, I, I like Ronaldo. I, and, and, you know, we talk about him a lot on the show, not because I think that he's a not the GOAT or a bad player or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But I think that when you have a static player that sits at the very top, that fluid front three that you had pressing um, mm. interchangeably, 
you can't do that anymore mm -hmm. because he's not going to offer that. Yeah. And so you've had to, you've essentially made a signing that throws it out of balance, which is why I agree with that DM. Mm. Do you think that Oli needs to then change the formation to suit Cristiano or does Cristiano have to adapt? Absolutely. If you're getting a forward that's going to give you a better goal ratio than James Greenwood, yeah. whoever, yeah. You, yeah, you would, obviously you change the formation to play around him because mm. he's, he's your star man now. Yeah, yeah. And I understand. I reckon any elite manager would do that. Yeah. Um, now, I guess yeah, in, in sort of further clarifying, the way I'd sort of look at that United setup is I think Josh mentioned that Greenwood does not press. Yeah. But he didn't mention Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green was 20? Yeah. Ronaldo was what? 36. Oh, you're, not, you're not mentioning fine. those? That's, they don't be smug, mate. mate. Just... It's fine. Josh, Josh, <laughs> please, hit the facts. Hit the facts. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. But in, in moving forward, that game, mm. they had two shots on goal, I think. Mm. Who was shooting? Ronaldo was shooting. Yeah, Rivoli, yeah. and then I can't remember who was yeah. Green with someone else. Yeah. They, like, Ronaldo's there for, for you to create chances for him. Yeah. He's not going to be the guy to... um drop back and, and you know sit deep and sort of go oh I'm gonna I'm gonna press that forward there mm. we know he's not I guess it's not I guess yeah from watching him at Madrid from watching it at Juve they had you know the quick pacey players on the wings to do that for him and mm. did, did he suffer in, or did Madrid suffer when he was playing of no. course not yeah. same with Juve yeah um, and again with Juve the most defensive I guess the league in the world is the Italian league yeah. you know top yeah. scorer of three seasons yeah, like, yeah. yeah if you provide him with the chances he'll finish and that's what he's there for yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. All right, mate. Let um, me get so fired up. I'm not Josh. I'm, so just chill. I'm good. It's calm. Good. It's I'm calm. Good. Good. So then in that case, right, there was the talks around Oli possibly getting fired mm -hmm. and, you know, Conte coming in. Obviously, Conte's gone to, to Spurs. Yeah. Um, so in your mind now, thinking about the managers on offer, I'm not talking like, yeah. you know, Disney signings like Clark yeah, United yeah. and stuff like that. Who would you think would be the obvious choice to come in and be able to wrangle some kind of system that fits Ronaldo and all these talents and, and play good football and get results. Yeah. To be honest, I'd love to see Zidane there. Like, mm. now that he's a free agent, but I mm. know he might not be interested. He's got, I think, potentially France on his mind and coaching yep. the national side. Whether that's going to happen in the near future, I'm not sure. I'd I mean, selfishly, I'd love to see that because then Paul Pogba would stay. Exactly, yeah. He knows Ronaldo already. That's... I think he knows tactics, to yeah. be quite honest. Yeah. Like, I think one thing we've said between us is yeah. Oli is a vibes coach, 100%. <laughs> I think he's there to rally the troops and just, you know, have yeah. a good time. Yeah. But when it comes to tactics, 4-3-3, three, three, that's all he's got in the bag. Mm. And we know that. That's, yeah. So you can't expect, oh, why do we keep losing? And that's the obvious reason. You yeah. keep losing because of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think from what I've read, I think Brendan Rodgers would be a, an interesting mm. um, choice. Yeah. I reckon he's got enough experience. He's got enough knowledge of the EPL to, you know, be able to put a team together. You know, he's got all these stars. When you look at United individually, yeah. what a, what a team. You've yeah. got Sancho, 73 million, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got an amazing sort of attacking front mm. that once, I reckon, you set up defensively correctly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Yeah. Maguire, dog. 